Hello, this is Korn, and welcome back to Star Trek Voyage Elite Force. Um, this is now the second episode where we today are going to go on the bioship where we had a, a briefing the last, at the end of the last episode. Data gathering? I was hoping for some action our first time out. Be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Don't worry, there's going to be enough shooting there. I wonder how long those scavengers have been here. I don't know. I'm surprised they managed to survive this long. I wonder where their ship is. So, are we getting in a locker where nothing is for some reason? So, let's go to the armory, fetch some guns. Hey, Oviedo. Can you take a rain check? Okay, then not. Already did. I'm not going to be careful with them. Mahaha. <laughs> you can test out your weapons in the holodeck here behind me. Uh, we could do that testing, but I find it pretty boring, and I, I personally wouldn't want to watch anyone do that because it's boring. Just a basically a quake arena with no extra content there, so just going to skip that. If anyone wants to, we'll put it back if someone asks for it. But for now, I'm going to skip that holodeck training every time. So, let's go to the mission. Holodeck. So, hello, people. Can we go now? Hey. Yeah. Where are my people? Did you get your stuff? No. Excuse me. I sure hope they're right about that ship being abandoned. Excuse me. Seems like we're not allowed to skip that. Oh man. There's the lounge. Let's go to the lounge. We can't do anything there. Well, I gotta head out. Got an away mission to perform. Man, I can't believe I'm getting left behind on our first mission. And an intelligence gathering mission too. Hey, relax, Ken. There'll be plenty of other missions. Uh, yeah, Ken. They're just saving the best for last. <laughs> You're going to die early enough, mate. You're going to die horribly. Mr. Rock, hey, Doctor. While we have some extra time, I thought we'd review first aid combat protocols one more time. Thank you, Doctor, but I think I am well prepared. I did go through extensive training and testing for this position. Of course. Well, let me know if you develop any nervousness or pre-mission jitters. Don't worry, Doctor. You'll be fine. This is Mr. Shiro, our medic. Later guys, I don't really remember. It's been a long while since I've played this. Ah, now they're going. Let's go! Taking the rifles out of hammer space. Now it's our time. All set, Alex. Okay, ready to transport team two. Energize. Beam us over, man. And there we go. This looks healthy to be here. I hope it doesn't digest us. Just give me a minute to start the download. It's hot in here. Humid. I kind of like it. You would. Moist. I wonder what those are. They look like fireflies. Foster to Monroe. We've tapped into a data terminal here and started the download. Chell found one here too. He's accessing it now. And we start an alarm. Okay, 
Angry ghosts. Teleport us. Yes, we can. Don't worry. And then we can now see what those fireflies do. They're part of the repair system. They repair damaged stuff that the aliens can use it again. Which is going to be very annoying. Yes, sir. They just stopped attacking a moment ago. Same thing here. I got all I could from the data terminal. Let's just... There's a slight problem. We're over long when our must have raised this sequence. We can't contact Voyager and we can't beam out. We need to regroup. We've done some scans and it looks like there's a junction point in section 29. I see it. We'll meet up there and figure out how to take these shields down. Good luck. Foster out. Section 29 is through that door up there. Great. How do we get up there? This way. Probably after like scouring the whole ship to get there. Wet noises when opening a terminal, the best noises. At least it's not, it doesn't look like stomach lining here. Fast time spotters at that. Poof. Let's go on. it in here. There's two terminals but that's not very useful. Ah, we were down there before. There's teleporter. Ooh, we want to get to. Because there's counterpart to that. Totally not a trap. Absolutely not. Why would anyone ever try to trap us? That's just absurd. deeper. Ah yes, the happy noises. It's open. My shooting is unparalleled. I hit everything I want to hit. Eventually. Oh, 
Let's go to section 29. Or whatever it was. Yes! Ah! Child, they knew before that we were here. I don't think they didn't know we were here. Let's go. Wait for me. Teleporter to unknown territory. Oh yes. that Where are they? Chell, are you sure this is the right place? Positive. Maybe the aliens got them. Boo! Looks like our scans weren't quite thorough enough. Hey, Chell. I mean like chop down there. Catch me. Stow it, crewman. Look, Monroe, we've got to deactivate the shields before we can beam out. The data we downloaded from our console indicated there are three main sources we need to hit in order to do this. Your team should be able to take out the main computer core through there. We'll take out the backup power systems up here. We'll meet up at the main power core and shut it down. Yes, sir. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Good luck, Monroe. We'll meet you at the power core. Hey, Chell, behind you. <laughs> Peace, man, you asshole. And turn off the main computer core. Okay, we can get out here. Those things are disturbing. I do not want to know what they are for. But we get a new gun. We've got the thing that works. It's a shotgun for this game. And for some kind of reason, it's called Stasis Gun. Why would anyone call a shotgun a Stasis Gun? I'm also pretty sure that it would feel very gross to hold this thing with how it's breathing and all. No idea where to go, so let's go to the way. But there's seemingly less stuff to do. Yeah. My Mothman. Screaming Mothman. I'm probably now in a moth pit. I also don't want to know where to insert those dilithium crystal shards into this gun. Like, the front? Those pink holes at the side? I have no idea, and I also probably don't want to know. So 
deactivate the teleporter here. And these little, these little glitches, I think this teleport is going to be activated by the terminal up there. And we're going to get up to the terminal the other way around. Yay. Let's go the other way and see if we can get up to the terminal over there. Like the way they conveniently marked for us to follow. Ah, tutorial time. Looks like another of those transporters over there. All right, let's go. No! No! What happened? She just disappeared. Dead. Some kind of energy field. From that pod. There's no trace of Telsia. It's as if she was completely vaporized. There was nothing we could have done, Chell. We better get a move on. Or we might be next. Uh, just take down and ammunition. And be sad about Telsia when we get home to the Voyager. Switch we were on before. Now, let's get down here and not get attacked. Weird. This looks important. This looks like a bridge. That's it. The computer core. That must be the ship. In glorious technicolor and high polygons. Is that the starship radio? What's that in the middle? I wonder too, Chell. I wonder too. Planet. I wonder if that's their home. So, what are we supposed to do here? I think I just missed the secret hallway somewhere. Or not? Hmm. I can't shut down the core from here. The main controls are on that upper level. Welcome to Voyager Elkar's menu system. And it crashed for some reason. Okay. I will be right back once I fix that. So I found the issue. It was some memory bug and I will put the solution down there in the description of the video later. So everyone who wants to play it can solve the problem for himself as well. And now let's go on with the video. Mothman! Don't they have any pants? All the dangly bits are just dangling out there. They probably don't want us on their ship. That was a, that was what it was about. Think? Oh, that wasn't. God damn it, Chell. You need more voice lines. So, 
we have to get the torch. We can't hit from here. So like, let's see where we can go. Hope there are no repair fireflies anywhere. So we don't die. Yeah, we don't die. Chill, chill, chill. Okay, this is it. Those consoles shut down the computer core. I'll work on getting this access door. Pushing button. Pushing another button. Aha! Just invented an, an, an unknown chip and turned off their main computer that probably controls life support. Let's turn off the main power supply to kill more life support. To make them even angrier at us. This looks scary, like there's supposed to be some of those electro floor pods somewhere. Mitchell. Let's get that firefly over here. Come here. Put, 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 put. Firefly, firefly, firefly. Come repair the transporter we need to turn you off. We definitely have to ask those guys for a repair tech afterwards. Or at least steal a repair tech, depending on. How friendly we are there with them. Thanks, Chell. Going to attack me? God damn it, Chell! Shooting people in the back is not the Federation way. Shoot him in the face, fair and square. Stay open is if one 
Intel. We're almost out of here. Okay. Can we at least Hurry. copy the data from his track order to our track order? That at least if he dies, that oh god damn it. Many. See, and now because Shell shot onto it in the back, they are shooting me in the back as well. Shoot me now? Like from here? No. Good. I do not like you. Because if you do that, you just repair it and kill me. Running, 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 running. Survived! Let's quick save. Yeah, chill. Chill. Oh no. What is this place? It looks like some kind of stasis pods. The aliens must have a hibernation system. A melon? Not a melon. Beastman. Do this without killing anyone. That's friendly with us. This is it. The power core. We've got to get up there and shut it off. I want the power core be right at the outside hull, like it gets damaged by everything that comes by. Stay alive. Colony ship must 
be a sleeper ship for the long voyages. Yes, the long journey. New home. Never the sea of now we fear. The forge has us no escape. The forge. information from your computer we're trying to find our way out our knowledge is yours quest you and see we are allies need the law and defenses we will return to your vessel we'll find a way out of here we'll get to your new home foster to voyager lieutenant it's good to hear your voice what happened over there i'll explain when we get back let's just say we've made an ally but we have injuries. We need to beam directly to Sigma. Stand by. Could we just have asked them to unfreeze them? Sigma has the wounded. We're ready to beam you back now. Acknowledged. Foster out. And that's it. It was a difficult mission, Monroe. It looked pretty bad out there for a while. But we got the job done. Have the doctor look at you and then join me in Hazard Ops. I'll be assembling the rest of the team for debriefing. Yes, sir. I don't care if your hemorrhoids are chronic. There are no medical deferments. Doctor. Doctor? Ah, Mr. Monroe. Your injuries seem to be rather superficial. Dermal regeneration will not be necessary. Though you have some mild skin irritation. Perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? Uh, whatever. This was totally human movements what they did right there. Okay, and... Holographic scans indicate a possible neck injury. Okay. Cranial bruising. Okay, and that's it for this time. We'll continue from here on in the next episode. Thank you, see you, bye!